This definitely isn't what I usually do videos on, but this is my Model 3 performance using Smart Summon in an unmapped car park in Australia. The first one which I'm showing now was done using my phone which the GPS was working just fine on. And you see that it's, what the fuck this was our first everywhere. test in this car park. You see it got here, a little bit unconfident at the end, wiggles around a bit, <laughs> but it made it to where it was meant to. Um, and then it's just another clip of me mucking around with it. So what we did was we parked it and we went inside, did our shopping, and then we decided to make it come and meet us. So this is maybe the fourth time we used Smart Summon in this car, in this car park. Now, this is also the first time that we had to drive past a car. Now, again, it's worth noting this car park's not mapped, so it's just doing it purely off what it can see. So you see that it drove up okay, but once it got near the car and the crossing, it just slowed down to a snail pace. It was going the wrong direction and then it just slowed right down. Once it got past those, uh, I suppose we'll call them issue points, it sped back up and then it drove to effectively where I told it to stop. So I told it to stop actually on the crossing. It got to the edge of the crossing and then just stopped. Now this is a video in a different car park from the inside. So my wife was recording this and I was um, sending it up to the other end of the car park. So I've recorded most of it, but right at the um, other end of it, I wasn't, this is still when it was the first time actually in this car park. I wasn't confident what it was doing. So I, I aborted the, I aborted it. Anyway, we did a few more tests. This was the last time I used my phone because after this my phone went flat. And I had a lot of issues with using the other phone because the GPS on it would not get a lock and I didn't really know where I was. So I haven't posted many of those videos apart from the last one. So you can see here that it did pretty good um, and it did it at a reasonable rate as well. So you can see me standing over there and it basically drove up to exactly where I told it to stop. Now we did this exact same no, one again well. using a different phone. The issue was the GPS wasn't working on the phone. I really didn't quite know where my target was. But we did it with the windows down so you could see more easily that there's no one in the car. So where it stopped was exactly where it was meant to stop but not where I actually wanted it to stop because of you know the target being wrong on the phone. And you see again it drives at a decent speed it stays within the lines of where it's meant to go. It gets to where it thinks it's meant to stop and it stops reasonably smoothly and happily. Now I've noticed every time it gets to the end, it always does that little wiggle. So that's Smart Summon in Australia. So here's us mucking out with a few things that the only way I could really get to my destination was by either driving around all the car parks, which is the correct way of doing it, or in this case, I uh, decided to try and do a weird four point turn and give up halfway through it. I mean, it, it wasn't doing the right thing, but I knew it wasn't going to do the right thing when I started it because hey? of what I saw on the phone. I was just curious on what it was actually going to do and <laughs> it did pretty much exactly what the screen said it was going to do. So I suppose that's good. But anyway, this was a great toy to play with. I wouldn't say it's something that I'd use if there was, you know, cars moving around or lots of people moving around. Uh, but it's definitely something that's safe to play with at this stage and to be honest if we use it safely and we muck around with it It's just going to give more data to Tesla, which is going to mean that the system's going to work better quicker and This is definitely going to be something good in the future But right now the biggest issue is that if you summon it to you When it gets to you you have to walk over to the car. It's sitting in the middle of the driveway and then you go to open the doors and the doors won't open. It seems that there's nearly a five seconds after it comes to a stop until you can open the doors, which is a bit, um, it's a bit slow realistically if you're summoning it to you and there's lots of cars trying to come around. So at the moment, it's not quite usable, but it's awfully close. It's awfully close and um, yeah, we'll definitely make around with it more. Looking forward to this getting better. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll have more open stuff soon, but um, yeah, look, I've been busy. This has been my main car for quite some time now, so I just haven't had the time to get back onto OP, but yeah, soon. Thanks guys.